How you doing? Sylvester making up the third checking in, best selling author of many books. Here to talk about how to get over your ex. The first thing that you need to be aware of is the myth that people have around getting over your ex. People go into it thinking, hey, I'm going to forget about my ex. I'm never going to think about this person. And they qualify the goal of getting over your ex as I'm never going to think about this person. Not only is that illogical, it's actually impossible. The first step in getting over your ex is to understand that you are going to think about this person for the rest of your life. No matter what, no matter what, you will think about this person. You have to accept that it is okay to think about a person. Think about people you were friends with when you were kids. You still think about them from time to time, and that's okay. It's a part of life. It's a part of your experience. It's a part of your story. Don't feel like you need to cut off a memory because you can't do it. The next thing that you need to be conscious of when you're trying to get over X is something that I call physical value. You want to look at the physical world around you and see how many tangible items are a direct product of them, how many of them you can get rid of, how many you can replace. The reason for doing this, it's not to be petty. It's because everything in our life has energy, carries a vibration, has a memory. So if you're at a point where you truly, truly have to move on, it's important that you change the physical world around you. So that may mean moving to a different state. That may mean moving out of your apartment, maybe getting a different car. I know these are things that are grand and may cost a lot of money, but you can start with smaller things like changing your wardrobe, looking at the songs you have on your iTunes. Maybe you delete songs that came from them or came from the memories of them. Maybe you switch the gym you go to. Do anything in your power with reason to create a different physical world. Here's the third thing that you can do literally immediately. Keep yourself busy. Don't become fake busy. Fill yourself with things of substance. So if you're not active in the gym, you need to get in the gym, man. Physical fitness will save your life. Get in the gym, get active. Get, get going on some yoga, some weightlifting, anything that's going to get you active. It's going to help you reduce stress. It's going to help you stay happy, stay motivated. Go on Southwest.com right now and just book a random flight. Book yourself a flight. Go by yourself somewhere and travel. Experience something. Learn something about yourself. Make dates with your friends, with your kids, you know, with anybody you can where you can just hang out. I appreciate you watching this video. If you're struggling with this concept, the whole getting over your ex, getting through a breakup concept, there's one thing you really need to know. You are not alone. A lot of people are struggling with this. A lot of people are dealing with this. The first thing I recommend is that you get professional help in your area. Go see a counselor, see a psychologist, see someone who can help guide you through this. The second thing I want you to do is to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Self-love is about taking care of your physical, emotional health. Take care of yourself. Don't beat yourself up for mistakes. Get in the gym, work out, do yoga, sweat. Invest in your mind. There's people on, on YouTube, like me, who are giving you resources. I've developed a book that I guarantee will help you heal. It's called Dear Soul, Love After Pain. Check it out. It's going to help you heal. It's going to help you deal with trust issues. It's going to help you, help you get through a hard time. I'll put the link below. You're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. Have a good one. Peace. Love. Take care.